hello there. Uh, I thought I'd do something a bit different. Uh, instead of just uploading a Roblox game, I thought I'd share with you some of the games I played when I was a kid. Uh, this game right here was probably the first game I ever played, ever in my life. It was called Combat. And I grew up in the 80s and 90s. So... You know, for for me, the timeline that I remember was Atari, the Nintendo, then of course Sega Genesis came out, and it just kept evolving and getting better and better. This this game here was basically you could choose different levels, see how it's changing and stuff. It was all the same stuff though. I mean, you could choose between planes or tanks. Uh, most of Atari games were multiplayer, so if you didn't have another person to play along. Well, it could get kind of very repetitive. Every, you know, it's, they're all very repetitive games. See, they tried changing up the geometry a bit so it looked, they look like jets instead of like the other planes. Yeah. <laughs> this was our basketball. And believe it or not, you know, I know you guys have Fortnite and there's so many games out there that you can choose from. You know, but at the time, when I was growing up, this here, believe it or not, was cutting edge. Yeah, this was our boxing. You know, I mean, you can still go back in time and you can find some really good games on these consoles. Of course, you got Dig Dug here. Um, the object of this was just basically to clear out all of the levels of dirt and avoid those monsters. But you know, yeah, like I was saying, you, you have games like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Super Mario Brothers, all that stuff will, I think, stand the test of time, no matter what the graphics look like. And for the time, they were really awesome. I mean, you look at, you know, in comparison to games now, this here was Joust. This was a very popular title. It was in arcades uh, everywhere. I remember seeing a Joust cabinet, arcade cabinet everywhere when I was a kid. This was a um, this was a game called Carnival. Or, I mean, I guess this was like our shooting games, you know, where basically you just yeah, you're, you're looking. That's basically all it was. You just shoot things and get points. All these games were just point based. You just tried to get as many points. Usually, there was no great endings or storylines. It was just all repetitive gameplay because it was still in its infancy. This here was called Crystal Castles, basically a ripoff of Pac-Man, and yes, here you go. The infamous E.T. game. I actually owned it when I was a kid, and uh, it was pretty bad. Uh, the whole issue with E.T. was it, it, there was some issue over the getting the rights to make the game, so the creator only had like five weeks to develop it in time for Christmas, and it's actually infamous for being one of the worst games in history because they rushed it. This game here was actually really fun, I thought. Basically, after a while, you got so many points, the food would change. Like, it went from, like, cheeseburgers to root beer mugs and then ice cream and, yeah. So, thought I'd share that with you. Hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.